calm down. Welcome to today's episode of the Yoke Yoke Show. I don't know what exactly we're all going to get into. As you've probably seen the last episode, you can see where my trailer bent when I unloaded, when I unhooked this from my Ranger. And then it just collapsed. I was gonna hook it up to my truck and it just collapsed. So if you saw that in the last video, I had a ton of holes on here. You can still see all the mud and whatnot that's on here. So what I'm gonna do before I take it to the car wash is I'm gonna scrape it off. I got a flat shovel we're gonna use. And then uh, we'll take it down to the car wash, spray it off a little bit. I think I got just enough quarters maybe. Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> I might not have enough quarters to the car wash, but we're gonna see if I got enough quarters before I go up there and then we'll spray it down. I'm just gonna dump it. Uh, clean it off those mud over there, and then uh, I don't know what we gotta do. We gotta go by the bank, gotta buy truck tags. I don't know. We just gotta do. I don't know where we're gonna end up in this video, so <laughs> we'll take it as it comes. But I know I gotta figure out how to get that fixed somehow. Or another. Yeah, this is gonna work out. <laughs> You know what? This ain't gonna get it. I'm gonna have to put this in hyper speed. You ready? Uh, gotta clean down a little bit and then uh, we'll pressure wash it down. And uh, much as them hogs, dogs love them hogs, could just put them on there a little lick it off, huh? I don't give out though. Man, it's hard going that fast. Y'all see how fast I be working? <laughs> anyway, let's go figure out about getting this thing uh, pressure washed down a little bit. Yeah, it ain't the greatest job, but it'll work. So let me hold up. Yeah, like I said, it ain't the greatest, but it'll get it knocked down. Less mud for now. And uh, anyway, let's go figure out something to do. Supposed to get some rain tonight, so it'll 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 wet it down again, and then we might hit it again. Who knows? But anywho, just a little knocking the mud off. Well, of course we got rain. Uh, a little bright right there but of course we got rain we did not catch hogs last night I stayed up all night uh basically downloading videos the last video for youtube that you probably already seen from here and uh now we're going down here we're having to walk down here to the shed uh we're gonna go look at this beaver i really want to try to catch this beaver uh just see if we can get some beaver action i hadn't had a whole lot of calls about beaver action this year so uh or at least not yet so people are still hunting but anyway walk down here to where the shed is y'all have seen this is why I love to build my wife a house right here, or at least put her a good double wide. <laughs> Got a dirt pad belt. It's been there by over a year, but uh, she can't come up with a plan, a uh, house plan, and I, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I can do. <laughs> so, anyway, we're gonna walk down here and get some beaver stuff. And uh... anyway, this is my trapping trailer <laughs> i just got all kind of everything on here and uh whatnot so i'm gonna just grab all i want to do is grab a few uh footholds and drowning rods is what i'm gonna do off of here and then uh i got a lure i think in my other truck so we're just gonna be grabbing a few things that i need it's just gonna be a simple little job and just gonna see if we can catch something so uh i'm gonna grab this off and then we'll see you here in a little bit well, you can hear the hogs carrying on. So we're on the hunt club. We're not very far. You've probably seen this. I'm I'm not sure what'll be in this video, but uh, 
You may have already seen where we were here checking it out, but that's where we parked the trucks right there. Got a little water flowing. So, and the beavers, or what the beavers are doing is they're coming in here out of this slough right here, and I'm just gonna trap here. I'm just trying to catch uh, one or two beaver right here. They're damming up this culvert, and they're coming from back there. But anyway, I got some caster mouth sets that I've seen right here. And uh, they're right over there. We'll get closer in a minute. And then they're just coming up through this slough, coming down here doing it. So what we're doing, we're trying to save a little timber and uh, catch a few beavers on the place. Trying to get to just, just doing something. We just be doing something today. <laughs> so, <laughs> we can get in here. All right. So what we got, guys. Oh, right. We got this is a caster mound set right here. And these people come up here, make the little mound set, secrete it or whatever. So what we want to do is act like we come in here as another beaver and destroy it. Got it out of the way. We don't want you here, beaver. And uh we're gonna make our own caster mound set, which I forgot the lure up there. I'll have to go back up here and get it in here in just a minute. But what we want to do is we're going to put it right here, thinking this beaver's going to come around this way, and hopefully we can get him in a set right here somewhere. We'll have to find us a little spot, so. On this bank, somehow enough. Right there. Yeah, I think we can put it in this hole right here. So, what we'll do is take Make our own little mound of mud is what we're gonna do. Leaves, everything else. Ah. And then we'll put our own different beaver lure there. And uh, they'll come in here and think somebody's in their territory trying to come up here and hopefully, uh, hopefully, the end game is that he will get caught. So put this trap right in here. The thing is, the water's going to be going down overnight. And you want to make sure to get a... Well, we're going for a front foot catch here. And the reason we're going for that front foot catch is it's going to be shallow here. And that way it'll hold them underwater and drown them. I just want to make sure we got it in a good spot. Then, we can't get this stuck down in that end. down here. There it go down. What happened is if he'll get caught, bam, and he runs down to the bottom of this thing and drowns. So anyway, let me give you some stick and lure and uh we'll get it kind of wedged out for him a little bit. All right, we're back with the smell good lure. So basically what I did is, I feel like they're gonna come along this edge. And what I did is I put this log here, just like that. And I figure if they're coming to the edge, at least they'll come wide and then come into it. Uh, I did end up moving this trap down a little bit uh, because as I was standing here, I went to go get some logs and stuff. I was already about that far from the trap. And with the water going down through that culvert, I just feel like uh, it's not going to be good, so it'll be too shallow. So I did move it back. We might catch it back foot or whatnot. I don't know, but anyway, uh, 
It's gonna take a little bit to smell good. And they'll just think somebody else is in here. We'll put that right there. It's kind of territorial like a dog peeing on a tire and uh, whatnot. So hopefully they just come in here when he eases up right here, catch him by the foot. So we're gonna move right here, one more down, and uh, where they had another caster mound. They're, they're, they're within six to eight feet apart. So we're gonna try it right here, the deepest part of the water. See if we can't do it again. And uh, you know, see how it goes. Using this Man, I don't know if you can hear me. Ooh, there's a fish or a crawfish. Something just shot across there. <laughs> Scared me a little bit. Scared me a little bit. All right. What are we going to do for a minute? You see, I'm going to down here. Got my waders. I got me some waders. You know, I had them hip waders last year. Anyway, give me some great waiters. We'll see how they do. So this is kind of where same thing cast mouth set. It doesn't seem like they're doing as good. But you see all the dry leaf, mud leaves that was here. I'm telling you, we're just gonna take this. We're doing away with them. No, you can't be here. I'm the head beaver around him. And that's basically what we're telling this, telling them. Getting rid of you. And let's see. So there's like a little ledge right here. It seems where they're kind of using up. So I'm gonna try to set this trap. You can see it's probably about that deep. That'll be a hind foot catch when he climbs up here, puts his feet down, back feet down. Hopefully, I mean that's that's the goal anyway. And uh, water's a little cool, but it's not too bad. So what I want to do first is going to get me my own little mud pile. It ain't gotta be. I mean I prefer as much as we can get, but uh, I don't want to mess up where I'm going to set the trap at either. I got one on a chain I can put. I thought about putting in front of that culvert. Hold on. Oh, mud's hard right here. It's soft out there. Mud pie. Okay. You as parents, if y'all telling your kids don't play with the mud pies, well, one day they might want to be a beaver trapper, you know? So, if they're using this right here to come up block, I want to put this thing right down in here somewhere. And I got to find me a spot to kind of put it. Because I feel like they're going to come, they're, I mean, I know they are, come around this corner, come around this weed, and then they're going to want to turn and come in right here. So... I prefer to have my rod out of the way when they come in, whether it be, I try to have it opposite side. So whatever side I think they're coming in from, have the rod going the other way. So if I think they're coming from that way, have the rod just shooting this way. And then that way, that's just one less thing they got to feel with their feet when they're coming in. Like, not that they really care, care, I think, but mentally for me, it's just something I like to do. But I also don't have the best mental capabilities in the world either. <laughs> Get this stake in the ground. That way this end stays down, the other end is stuck in the mud. Looking for my trap. Make sure your trap can slide. Don't let it be in the mud right there. I'm just digging out with my foot, I mean my hand. I'm just digging out with my hand where I kind of want the trap to be. Right there. Cause I'm giving you up. Like I did. Put a little more of that juice on there, right there. Mm. 
I prefer to have it up a little higher. The reason it being, it makes them get on up here a little bit. So this will help them make it look like a slide. You know, we'll see. See how it goes. From the land holes to the water holes, we go. All right, you can see right here, got another trout. I got this one on a chain. It's gonna be chained up on the edge and staked down on the end. Kind of, it's basically a beaver on, on a dog chain is what it's gonna be like until I can get here. Uh, a lot of times these traps are heavy enough they go out there and they kind of sink with the front foot, you know? But uh, this is it's just a different way when you, like I said, I can't stake nothing down right here on the front end like I did those drowning rods. And the reason is, it's rock and gravel right here. So, but right here, a little bit, I can feel the mud, so I'm just gonna stick it in this way. That way, everything that flows, nothing goes underneath the pan, flows right over it. And uh, if a beaver decides to come up here and wanna dam this up tonight, then uh, hopefully he'll get that foot caught, you know? So we're just gonna stick this in the ground. All I'm doing is letting it silt down in that silt and it kind of locks itself a little bit. So, you see I got a little deeper than I want to. Anyway, ain't no need for this or that like that. It's just a blind set. And we'll go chain that down on the edge. That way when he gets caught, he can stay out there in the water because he's going to want to stay out there in the water. But a lot of times they, they crawl up, but you don't want them to get in anything else. So, see how this, this log's flowing? Okay, so if this water was real shallow and say the trap was only that far up under water, this could go up under the pan if you don't have it set the right way. So I like to set it where the, everything just kind of goes right over it, you know? Anyway, it's your daily tip. It might not work. <laughs> Let's go take a break and gotta pick the little kid up. The young kid, the wild child. We gotta pick him up from school and uh, whatnot. My wife had, uh, let me tell you something about it. My wife had, uh, they had the company had somebody come in and evaluate what they do and how they do it. And really just try to make you better at what you do, you know. It kind of be like somebody that's a show enough, know everything about hog trapping, come in and try to make me a better hog trapper. Like, I know, I say this humbly, I know I'm already good at what I do, but if somebody was knew a lot more knowledge, come in and help me, it made me better, it'd be awesome. But my wife was so nervous, I said, baby, you're one of the best at what you do. Don't be nervous. And then she called me while I go, she's like, wasn't nothing to it. They helped me on some things, made me be better and whatnot. So she was worried about it. I kept telling her, don't worry about it. I, mean, I can see if you weren't no good at your job, but you're the best. <laughs> so anyway, uh, so strive to be your best. That way when things come to you and against you or you feel like you need to be worried over something, know that you're the best at what you do. So, I mean, I ain't the best beaver trapper, but <laughs> we out here beaver trapping. Uh, well, I was sitting here. I've been waiting on this one hole. Let's see if you get your back down. I've been waiting on this one hole to come in. It's all I've been seeing the last couple of days. I'll hit this button right here. I'll try to. Oop. See if we can't catch that hole. Boom. All right. Well. And now it sends me a notification. I just happen to be sitting here looking through some videos, editing some beaver stuff. And, well, lo and behold, old pig was in there. I guess we'll see y'all in the morning, huh? Old lonesome. Eat up. It's gonna be your last meal, little son. Well, this might be the last time in this spot, but I'm gonna go on and let you see it. You know, <laughs> when you see the gates, 
head knocking awaits. We got one hog in here. Ooh, I forgot. I hope I got my key. I ain't got one hog. We're gonna figure all this out. Uh whew, it's cold. It's 35 degrees this morning. Uh whew. a little chilly. We got one hog. Let's go out and get them. And when we leave here, we gotta go check some beaver traps. Of course, I can't see nothing. I got a frost on the windshield this morning. I'm having to look out the side here, but at least the four-wheel drive is working. Didn't get caught with the group the other day. All the mats are muddy. Dang, he just got me muddy. <sighs> just got a little mud on me. Can't tell, little boy. Huh? Get muddy. Whew. Sorry. Let's calm down. Huh? Socks are going down to the end of my boots. I got different socks on this morning. And, uh, I got different socks on because I can't wear my regular socks because water line busted two days in a row in our neighborhood and the water's been dirty so we couldn't wash clothes. And uh, I don't have about three pairs of socks <laughs> so, that I wear normally, but we wash a load every day, but we hadn't been up. So anyway, let's see if we can't get this up. Broke that one loose. I don't know if I can break the other one loose. <sighs> but, uh, that'd make your socks come down to the end. <laughs> uh, I really just want to get these up. I don't plan on catching any more hogs here. I just really want to get it up, get it out of the mud, because if it dries up before I get help down here, it's gonna be even harder, so. Just getting the mud off the gates, so. Other than that, we'll get this pig drug out just a little bit. Oh. That muddy mess of wood. Anyway, this one pocket drags. It's a new pocket drag right here. Like I said, you can get these at yawkyawk.com. Uh, when you find them on there, uh, It'll send you to their site and you use Yacht Yacht promo code, you get 10% off. So I don't know what I did before I had these. I used to take rebar, cut their hocks, and drag them out with rebar. You know, I don't I don't know. But I know it's hard to get a grip on these things and whatnot. But oh, what I'm gonna do, try to do, is uh I'm gonna drag them out of this mud, hook him to my ranger, drag him over in that water hole, and wash him off. Move them out like that right there. Oh, it's a muddy mess. So, I'll drag the hog over. I mean, the, I'll go get the ranger and back him up right here and drag him over here. I'll see you at the water hole. All I want to do is just try to get some of this mud off of him. And uh, I'm pretty thick in mud. I forgot my uh, trailer this morning, so uh, 
That means I gotta put him in the back of that new truck. <laughs> I gotta make room. Uh, like I said, I just wanna try to get a little much of the mud off of it as I can, but. I don't give all my pigs a bath. Anyway. What we're gonna do is put him, I'm gonna winch him up in the back of this thing. I'll winch him up here in a minute. Looks like we got a little mud in there now, huh? Looks like we got a little mud in there. That's a good size hole right there. Let's get out of here. Get some breakfast. Go check our beaver. It's been got cool out here. Anyway, I'm not seeing the drowner rods on it. Or, I mean, I see the rods. I guess what I'm saying. I see the rods down there. You kind of see where my shadow of my head. See the shadow of my head, right? The very top. That's where the trap's supposed to be. It's not there. And then I went over here uh, as well. And then the one that we put in the culvert seems to still be there. But uh, I want to check those two traps right there. So let me get my waders on there. And uh, man, I got two. Call a little chill. And then uh, we'll... Uh, See what, see what we got. So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna walk in from this way. It's a little, it's a little silty right here, but. Can't be too deep. I'm just gonna walk in from right here. Oh, let's see what we can come up with right here. I mean, I know we can get something because there ain't no trap right there. And this, what worries me though is some poop right there. I don't know if it's otter or what that is. Let me get on this side. I had to trap sit right here. Mm. Mm. Otter poop or something. Oh, oh there's a beaver. Yeah. There's one beaver. Look at <laughs> Oh yeah, good back foot kick. What the world? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Can you believe, <laughs> I thought I had two beaver. You didn't believe it? <laughs> I got one on the front foot and I got one on the back foot. Oh my goodness. Golly. Had them too set, too close. How? I bet the beaver rod come up, I guarantee. Yeah. One of those beaver rods come up out instead of it drowning. It come up out and he come up here to the other side. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Golly. <laughs> well, looks like I set them too close. Didn't set it in the ground good enough. Golly. Well, that's kind of awkward. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, well, man, I was hoping for two beavers. We got one. That's all I really want to do was try to get one. And uh, let me get these. Got to get that up so I can get them up out here to get the trap off of them. But we did catch a beaver. Awesome. That's crazy. That's just crazy.
there ever was crazy. That was crazy. I wouldn't thunk that. Yeah. Yeah, I cannot believe that. I've never done that. And I, I guess it just come out. And he just come right over there. Got in that oven. Well, I'll get over here and get him on the bank. And uh, drag him up. Uh, and then we'll do something else. That's a beautiful beaver, but uh, it won't be stopping up the culvert no more. But anyway, see if we can figure out how to get these things off of them. We've got two of them on there, so a little aggravating. I don't have my setters. I usually have a pair of setters that'll help you get them off. I don't have them. So, Foot. Got it off. If we get whatever traps in the way here. Alright. That one out of the way. Now we just need to figure out this one off. I had to use my feet because like I said, I ain't strong. If y'all watch Trapper Jay, he's strong. I ain't strong. <laughs> nice little beaver there. <sighs> well, that's all I wanted to do there is catch, catch one right here. And uh, it's Friday, so you know I got to take it easy today. So we get back to it. We'll give this hog away and whatnot. Whew. Lost my breath. Lost my breath. <laughs> anyway nice little beaver I'm going to leave my stuff here like I said I'm not really just ready to beaver trap here just yet and uh, I just wanted to break the ice for say just a little bit so it's going to look here to the truck we got beavers and boars today baby <laughs> Oh yeah, we got a beaver and we got a hog. Come on, like I said, boars and beavers. Well, we're gonna go take that hog to somebody, and then uh, I don't know what we're gonna do with that beaver yet. Y'all me cook them back straps? Maybe. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna head on and uh, we'll get things taken care of. So. Y'all know how it goes. I appreciate y'all tuning into this episode, and we'll try to do something uh, here in the next couple of days. I don't know. Y'all keep watching. Go back and watch those other last two videos before this one. Uh, nasty hog catching, but we got through it. Any which way, y'all know how it goes. Y'all have a good one. God bless, and as always, Jesus loves you. Arr!